Hello, everyone. I was just messing around, so I just thought, why not record, because you never know what I'll come up with. So I bought some splatter um, designs. So I'm going to just put them on my canvas. Just open up your canvas to whatever um, you want to use. I'm going to just put a couple of different patterns. I bought them. I it was too much trying to figure out how to do them. So I cheated, whatever. So um, that's one um, style. This is another one. And then I got one more. There we go. So I have two reds. I don't want two reds in there. Yeah, I have two reds. Okay. So let's shrink it down some. And they can fit. Let me get another color. Let's see. I'll go with this one, I think. Okay, so these are the different ones I um I purchased. But let's do another thing. We're gonna change the colors. So maybe you want a different color. So in Affinity Designer or Photo, you can do it with this button. But I think I'm going to go and do it with this one. And my color um, overlay will pop up. And we're just going to go just pick a color. There we go. So it's real simple to, um, to do. So let's see. Then we can do, because depending on what you're doing, um, they can look um, different. So, um, let's just, so that's how you do it. I just went to the little F, the little box comes up, and you can hit color overlay or you go here and do the HSL that would change it to this all depends on how you want to do it so I was trying to figure out what to do with these and I really wasn't sure but I think I'm going to try to put them on some mock-up for socks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to bring it to my mock-up socks. Oh, well, it has to be in front of my socks. That's for sure. So then we're going to do that again. Go pick up the other color. And um, drop it there. And then we're going to figure out um, how I want to um, put them. I won't want behind, so we'll bring it all the way back to the top. And these mock-ups um, I bought off of um, Etsy. Oops, wrong one. Um, I don't think I got the blue one. So we're going to paste that. Okay. Hope that one went behind, too. Normally you do this ahead of time, 
but I was so happy to find them. And then, of course, in different um, shapes or sweaters or, you know, whatever. So, um, we're going to do, we'll do this one. And technically, I have two, so you're going to duplicate it. Then you can put it on the other one like that. So, I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to bring it down to, it says, front image area. And then it's going to go like that. And then... Let me move this one out of the way, then you can, don't get confused. So then you come back to this layer, make sure you click it, because you don't want to mess with your sock. And then you can adjust it to how you want. See how it disappeared? Now it's back. Now it's gone. Woo! So you can make it like that, or you can make it um, small. It's really up to you. And then... We're going to throw another one in there. So see how it's in front of it? We're going to find that layer, and we're going to bring it down to where it says front layer area, just like that. And it's in front of the red, and that's fine. You want it behind it, then you just switch those layers. And then you're just going to, like, place it. I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm doing, really. There we go. And you want it kind of all to show. So let's um let's do the yellow. Maybe I might only put three colors on there. I don't know. That kind of looks good. And I'll put the link where I got the designs um in the description. So we'll just we'll just leave that one like that. And then I'll just put these two over here. I'm just going to, I just want to show you, because in my other videos, I was trying to do the splatter, but that was just time consuming, Then I didn't know if I liked it, didn't like it, so when I seen these, I was like, yeah, and then it has, I don't know how many different um, shapes or styles of different splatter, and it was overwhelming, it was so many, but um, I'll figure it all out when, um, on different stuff that I'll do. And then you can make them different. Because you can also tell the person that, you know, not every one sock is the same. So there we go. I think these two might be different. Letters, I don't, yeah. So, like, see how I just clicked on my whole image? I gotta go back over here to my little arrow and then find my layer to make sure um, I click it right. And then, let's do, let me open my other one, and get this yellow that's on the other sock. And we're going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it down to right here where this other one is. i got to go find it and move it. There we go. And do it like that. And just remember, if you want to move it, adjust it, and it's not so empty, you can do that. Just like I did here. So technically, you would group these together. You get your canvas and you get all your designs together. And I'll group it together. And then you'll hit um, copy. And then take it to your mock-up area and then paste it and then there it is you can do it that way so let's take off these other ones uncheck them then they'll disappear see how they disappear so we can do that ungroup it and then bring it down and then you have that and then you can um, adjust it to how you want it And then, if you want it over here on the other sock, so you go down to the other layer, unclick them, and they disappear, and then come back to the group one, hit duplicate, bring it down to where it says so, and then um, 
drag it over. And then you'll have matching clocks. And then you just print it like that in the measurements that you need. There you go. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. But I'm so happy I found these. And then you can change the color so much faster. When I have more time, maybe I'll figure it out. But I think I even have different ones. I have um, this one. Let me see what other one. And you guys can see. Oh, I didn't even use that one. Okay, so let me ungroup that one. That'll disappear. And then um, let me shrink these down. And you can see a different um, ladder that it all comes together like a bundle set. I think it was like 70 or something. I don't even know. But yeah, these are one, two, three, four. And then the other one I used eight, I think. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, no, oh, one, two, three. I don't know, there's a few. I'm seeing late to count. So I have that, and then you can also do that and put them all together if you want. You know, and that's how they do their splatters on the shirt, on cups. Math. So it's all um, how you want it to um, how you want it to um, look. Well, thank you for watching. Until next time.